Your narcissistic abuser has sent flying monkeys after you and they're confronting you with a ton of lies. What do you do in that situation? If you're new here, I share my personal experiences having suffered from narcissistic abuse to help other people heal. The thing to remember about a narcissist is that they are always trying to cause drama and they're always trying to suck people back into their drama. So if you've actually gotten away from your narcissistic abuser and you are no contact with them to the point where they are sending flying monkeys after you to try to suck you back in, you're having an effect on the narcissist. The worst thing you can do is react and engage in these conversations. Any reaction or engagement that you have with a flying monkey, you have to assume that they will give directly to the narcissist. For the most part, it is not worth your time or energy to shut down any lies that the narcissist is saying about you. That's not always true, particularly if there's a court system that's involved, but nine times out of 10, it's, it's best to just leave it alone. The flying monkeys that I've had that have come after me, I usually point out to them that the, what the abuser with the narcissist is doing is not healthy for them. For instance, one time I had my codependent father who was coming um, to me and bringing a message from my narcissistic brother who I was no contact with. And he kept repeating the phrase, he just wants X. He just wants X. And he also piled in, he also just wants to apologize. And I kept responding, I understand what you're telling me his objective is, and I'm telling you that I give you permission to remove yourself from being in the middle of this. I just kept saying, I'm not going to give you a message to take back to him, and he should not have given you a message to give to me either. He is fully capable, because he's a grown-ass adult, of communicating with me directly if he needs to. I just kept pointing out that them playing the middleman was not necessary. For some people that have been flying monkeys, that has worked well with and some that has not worked well with. For the ones that it has worked well with, they're like, tell me more about this and what does what kind of boundaries are you looking for? And I will explain exactly what I am and am not comfortable with. And if they are someone who truly cares about your emotional safety and well-being, then they will respect your boundaries. And if not, sometimes you have to cut off the flying monkey as well. And remember, the narcissist is trying to get the flying monkey worked up on their behalf. The narcissist wants that flying monkey to bring as much emotion with them to a conversation with you. The flying monkey is being manipulated by the narcissist. Usually they're not receptive to hearing that. Just be aware of that. But the only thing that has come close to working for me has just to remain calm and to look them in the eye if you are sitting with them face to face and say, I give you permission to remove yourself from the middle of this situation. I'm not going to continue putting you in the middle of this situation by giving you information back that will just stir up even more drama. This is not a situation that involves you and I'm not going to continue this conversation. And I urge you that if they continue to try to get you involved, to push back on them and remind them that you don't need to be in the middle of this.